first time round was quite a novelty. Thought it was going to be over in two weeks. Cleaned out the cupboards, got the house in order. Second time round, got a bit fit. Third time round, it all went wrong. Do you know what? I think what, what's been really nice for lockdown is because um, I'm from a very musical family, we found ways to occupy ourselves. Um, it wasn't easy, but we did find ways. I think lockdown for me just gave me a real insight into their little worlds as well, because I kept saying, I wish you could go out and see your friends. And actually, you know, just to see how they kept themselves occupied. You know, my girls, they raced through books or they, they got to spend more time with the baby. And that was amazing that we all got time together with the baby because we'd never have that time that concentrated time where you get to see his first steps, his first big smile, hear his first words. That's been really galvanizing for us as a, as a family and as a blended family. The toddler's very smart because he's just won everybody over. And I find myself saying all the time, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh to all of them because he's just figured out how to just twist everyone around his little finger and he's doing it very well. And let me just give an example. He, he threw a ball down the stairs and everyone cheered just because it bounced, he loved it. And then he tried to follow it by throwing a chair down the stairs. <laughs> this is what I'm dealing with, but he's very good. He, um, he's getting called dishwasher kid at the moment because on my Insta, you can see I've made videos and he's 18 months old and he can unload the entire dishwasher and pack it away in the, in the correct cupboards solo. Now, I didn't think that that was such a, a rare thing, but since I put it up, Everyone's just saying that, you know, we get we teach my teenagers. But I guess, is that because he's a lockdown baby and he's been in the kitchen 24 seven watching me unload the dishwasher? Homeschooling, wow, that was full on. We did our own music classes together. That was really, really nice. We did parts of the curriculum that then were added to the curriculum uh, in both, you know, um, in schools globally. And I really do cherish that because that would never have happened and people would never have seen that actually my children are really talented. And I want that for them because I think it can be so easy to dismiss the opportunities they get as well, whether they're your daughters. So I would say that they're really lucky to have me teaching them things that when I was learning, I'd have to wait a week. If I couldn't read the notes, I would have to wait a week until I saw my piano teacher, whereas I can hear if they've got it wrong from the other room and just shout it over to them, but they just think, oh, it's my mum. My worst homeschooling lesson still sticks with me now, and it was fronted adverbials and uh, further Latin. There's this line in, in The Incredibles, I don't know if you've seen The Incredibles, but there's this line in The Incredibles where Mr. Incredible says, they changed maths. That's how I felt all the time, because here I'd be saying, oh, you haven't done the bus stop method. And I'd be like, what's the bus stop method? <laughs> uh, do you know what? I actually thought it was really nice to see what my girls are like when they're at school, because you never see that. That's a snapshot you would never get the chance to see. I really felt for them, because the natural order of things is not to hang out with your mum 24 seven, but from a selfish perspective, I really loved it. Remembering to live in the now, because I spend most of my time as a mum worrying about what's to come and have I got everything ready and did I do this? And But kids, just live in the now. If they're bored, they'll tell you. If they're hungry, they'll tell you. If they're happy, you can see it. And I just think it's a really big lesson for all of us just to stop worrying about what's happening tomorrow. Very easy to say because we're adults and we've got a lot of pressures on our shoulders, but uh, there is something to be said for just living in the moment, putting your phone down for a second and just living. Uh, fajitas, chicken fajitas, if I'm short of time and if I've got hours. I, I, I go for the glory, I'm not a chef, so I just play for the glory. My fiance and I have got a deal going. I do all the laundry and he does the cooking because he knows I just heat things up. My go-to mum look. Yeah. I mean, I'm wearing it. Hoodies, dresses, it's handy when you've got your own range because you don't have to stretch far just to get a wrap dress. It started off as a baby range, pure baby range, it was called Baby K, and then we realised very quickly it was growing, which was great because my, my daughter was growing and it became a, my K, and it went up to five years old, and then it just flew. Now we're, we're looking at 15 years down the line, I've got a baby boy, it's mine in class kids, and it's now in Next, which means that it's immediately gone into 77 countries globally. My sister's in Australia. Australia and her children are wearing the designs. I mean, it's just incredible. My, my range is the longest running celebrity range in the UK. That blows my mind every single time. On top of that, to be able to then mix in um, the adult range with it as well. And then the hoodies, which means that, you know, my fiance can wear them too. I've literally catered for the whole family, but that's my favorite thing to be able to, to, to work around what the family unit wants from their clothes. Hero always wanted to wear what Ava was wearing and vice versa. So yeah, sometimes you'll see you know, children who are coordinated and wonder was it the mum or was it the children? But in this case, my girls would plan it. They would plan everything out together. And then if I matched with them, it was just like a dream come true.